Alright, this is a video to show you what you can do once you have some audiobook files downloaded. There are three main things we can do with this software. The first is we can play straight from the computer that you downloaded it on by clicking on the title first and then clicking on play in the upper left hand corner then it will start playing immediately and it's kind of nice the way this player works it shows the parts on the left all the parts you've downloaded each being just over an hour long in general and then it even breaks up each part into chapters and even parts of chapters so you can quickly get back to where you left off All right. Looking along the icons along the bottom, there's play, which is also pause, stop, a jump back marker. If you're on chapter two, go back to chapter one. Um, and then the same for going forward. And there's volume. Then, which is kind of nice, there's a play speed option, which you can change it to play slower you're having trouble understanding the reader or to play faster if you're wanting to get through the book faster all right then if you miss something there's a skip back 15 seconds button and next to that the symbol with a clock on it and a play button next to it when you click that it'll take you to the furthest point that you've listened to so far which is really nice so if you ever need to stop right in the middle of one and close out of the program the next time that you open it and click that button it'll take you right back to the last point you were listening to there's a bookmark button to set up some bookmarks and a button if you to open it in Windows Media Player if you're more familiar with that alright so I'm gonna go ahead and close back out of this by clicking the red X so that's how you listen on your computer now something else you can do for some titles and the way you can tell is if you're looking at the icon back on the neighbor's website and it had a burn uh, it says the word burn on it or burnable then that means that you can actually burn that title to a CD this one doesn't allow that so if I click on burn an error is gonna pop up and tell me that the title cannot be burned and that the license prohibits burning I'll click OK. Alright. Well what's really nice because CDs generally one part takes up a whole CD by itself whereas if I go to transfer that'll be for transferring to an MP3 player and MP3 players can generally hold multiple audio full audiobooks not just one part but full audiobooks um, on one player even if you have a one gigabyte mp3 player it should be able to fit an entire audiobook on it now only mp3 players that are WMA which stands for Windows Media Audio can play audiobooks from neighbors so it's a good idea to check your mp3 players manual first or look on the box at the store before buying it to make sure that it does say WMA enabled oh. iPods are not yet supported by the neighbors program so unfortunately they won't work quite yet alright so after I click transfer a screen pops up that says welcome to the overdrive media console transfer wizard it tells me the title of the book that I'm about to send alright I go ahead and click on next and it checks to see which parts I have downloaded so far since I only have part one that's the only one that it tells me all the information on and the only one that lets me put a check mark next to then I go ahead and click on next
and it starts sending over to my mp3 player. Alright, now it lets me know that it successfully transferred to my portable player and it says the title that I just sent over and it tells me the name of my player. Alright, it says I can now disconnect my portable player. Alright, so I go ahead and click finish and I'm ready to listen on my mp3 player. So then when you're done or when the book expires and it does tell you to the right of the title of the book when it expires um, you can click on the title and then click delete it'll ask you if you're sure you want to delete it and you go ahead and click on yes and then it's off of your computer all right and that's all that's what you can do with the audiobook software i hope you enjoy using the neighbors program and hope you've enjoyed these tutorials. Thank you for watching.